Hey, so welcome back, and this is another daily code problem. So today it's called Simplify Path, and it's a pretty popular question. Um, it's another stack problem where you're given a kind of Linux or Unix-like directory here, and you want to simplify it. And so in this case, say if you're at the root level, and then you try to go up a level, then naturally you just want to simplify it to the root level since that's the highest level that you can go. And in this case, any like trailing backslashes, you just want to remove. And then here, like you just want to remove this trailing backslash, but then also this is kind of redundant here where you just have like an empty like path or directory name here. So you just want to remove that. So the only other case that they also give you here is say if there's just a single period, which just represents like the current directory in Linux, you just want to simply remove that and just split it out so that you don't you just ignore it so the reason we want to use a stack here is as you're iterating through this string i think this is a good example where you just append every directory name to your stack so it would be something like this where you have like home and then you see that okay now the next word is foo so you add that to the stack like this and then that's basically your stack for this problem. And so all that you have to do is join this array, really, and return as a string, and you just join by these slashes. Okay, and so that would look like home slash foo. I won't write it out, but like home, actually I will. <laughs> home slash foo, like that. And then the only other case is, okay, if you do encounter, one of these kind of dot dots, then whenever you see it, you just pop from the stack. So you just pop whatever's at the top of the stack. And so it's just a simple way of allowing you to maintain the directory names on the stack and then also pop off so that you can go to the, the higher previous level. Okay, so it might make more sense once we write out the code, but here we'll have our stack here. <clears throat> and to return as a string, in Python you can just join it these each of the directory names together um, by a slash and then just because we also want to have a slash at the beginning the join operation will only join the slashes like in between each word here and so we just want to also append a prefix at the beginning of it okay and so we just want to iterate through every directory name in our path here but we want to split this into an array. And so this will give us all of the individual directory names in this uh, path here. And so that just makes it really simple so we can just process every directory name, every iteration. And so now we just want to consider our cases. So if our directory name is, we're trying to go up a level, then if we have something on our stack, then let's pop it off our stack. And then otherwise we just won't do anything. Okay, and so the next thing that we wanna consider is if our directory name is kinda of equal to don't go anywhere, stay at the current directory, then we just wanna continue on and not add or pop anything from our stack. This is basically just redundant, so we just wanna ignore this. And then the only other case we also want to include in here is if there's nothing. So because we're splitting across using these slash operators, you get cases like these where there's nothing in the middle. And so it's actually just an empty string that you'd be processing here. And so you also want to just ignore those cases. And then finally, since those are all the kind of special cases, then the only case that remains is, okay, we want to add something to our stack. And so then we know that, okay, it's not, you're trying to go up a level or it's not this weird case or you're staying at the current level. So then this is an actual directory name that we want to add to our stack. And let's try submitting that and success. So basically for time complexity, it's just O of N because you're just iterating through every directory name or like every character in this string. I think this is also an O of N operation. So it's just O of N time complexity. And in the worst case, the stack could be um, 
also like O of N, so it's O of N time and O of N space complexity. So yeah, I think it's fairly intuitive to use the stack. Um, you could argue that maybe you want to do this more either like recursively or using a, a two-pointer method maybe. But I think you would either look at this and think to do it recursively, which is typically whenever you think of recursion, you should also think of, okay, like a stack would probably be a better way to do this because it's just easier to read and you don't have those out of memory problems. So um, yeah, great question. Great uh, interview question, honestly. So I hope this solution helped and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks for watching.